You guys, before I get started, I want to apologize. I know I haven't made many videos recently. I keep just getting sick. I don't know why, but it's driving me crazy at this point. God, you would think I would know how to pour a beer by now. Good Lord. But as of now, guys, I am feeling pretty damn good. So uh, let's get into the shit show. I'm not one of these giant red pill kind of people that are trying to convince men that pretty much all women are trash. That's just ridiculous. I'm not trying to convince women to avoid joining one of these fan accounts and ruining their lives. I'm, I'm not one of those types of people. You are obviously free to do whatever it is you want to do as long as it's not hurting anybody. And I know there's an argument to be made that these types of accounts do hurt people in a very, you know, societal type of way. But I'm not a complete nihilist and I do have faith that this uh, issue will work itself out over a bit of time. I think for the most part the pendulum is beginning to swing the other direction and hopefully not too far the other direction but I'm at least seeing some normal coming back in. If we can just fix the fatherless homes or the terrible parenting issues we've been having, I think we have a pretty good shot of getting back to normal. But we're not quite there yet and today I have a really good example on why we need to work on fatherless homes and or terrible parenting. But right here and now, I do want to warn you guys before I play this video. It's very tasteless. It's very crude. It's it's definitely not for children. So it's kind of gross. And that being said, let's bring up this video and go over it point by point. I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. It's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is like unreasonable. Okay, saying it's 2024 is not a good argument on really anything. Every year since the dawn of time, this has probably been said. It's 1999, it's 2005, it's 2012. I don't know how mentioning the year is even relevant. Now, not to cast judgment on people, I think monogamous relationships are probably the healthiest ones you can get. I don't know statistically exactly, but I'm gonna say that it's it's probably a safe bet that going into monogamy is the safest one. And as far as this person's boyfriend wanting to be in a monogamous relationship, I don't think that's too much to ask for. I think you'll probably find much more happiness overall going down that path than really any other one. Associating just sex as the means for your happiness isn't exactly true. Yes, good sex is important in a relationship, but it's not going to be the only means of happiness. Now, she said right at the beginning she wants to be passed around so bad. I want to be passed around so bad. I don't even know what to say to that. That's pretty damn disgusting. I'm a young 18-year-old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Now we're going off the deep end. That's pretty insane just to say. Like, I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. I don't think you love this man at all. I don't. I really don't think you do. But there's literally guys out there with 13 inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least a hundred different people just to see who I like the most. I really hope this is fake. I really hope that this is some kind of parody. I'm really hoping this is fake. So let me get this straight. You want to be piped down by at least a hundred men with around 13 inches of meat. I guarantee you by the time you get through half of that, the first 50, they want nothing to do with you. And then the next 50, definitely don't want anything to do with you. And I want to say this as lightly as possible. At that point, you would be nothing but a used up sex toy. Now, is it fair for me to say that no man after going through a hundred men at 13 inches would not want to be with you? No, there's probably going to still be people who would, you know, give you a shot. But by this point, with this much experience, I don't know if anybody's going to ever satisfy whatever cracked out craving you were feeling. No man, no matter what, after that much experience, would be able to give you what you would desire. Because what you would desire at that point would be basically impossible. Your brain and expectations would be so warped that nobody could ever, ever fill those shoes, even if that next person had 13 inches of meat. But whatever happened to the part about the guy who's going to treat you well on top of, you know, good sex? Is the boyfriend that you are currently with satisfying you sexually? I would assume so, since you're still around with these kind of crazy desires. That tells me that this dude is either really overwhelming or really underwhelming. I, I really couldn't tell. But what about everything else? Like how he treats you? What is his personality like? What kind of things is he into? Do you guys share interests? Good sex is obviously a cornerstone, especially in a young, healthy relationship, but it's definitely not the entire story. But after getting ran through by a hundred men with 13 inch meat, your personality is going to be the least of your future prospects concern. My final thoughts, you guys, is that there is a lot of temptation in the world. There's a lot of desires in the world. It does not mean you need to feed into every single one of them. If you want to live a happy and successful life, a lot of the 
temptations probably should be avoided. But when you are constantly being bombarded by a lot of this disgustingness all over Twitter, pretty much any website for that matter, it is kind of hard to avoid and look away. Something tells me that when this girl was growing up, she was either probably absent her father or it was terrible parenting overall. Maybe she had both parents, but she was sat in front of a tablet or a laptop her entire childhood as her parent, being exposed to completely unfiltered nastiness that is the internet. She says in the video that she's 18, and if she really is that young, she didn't develop all these desires from conversations with her friends. Anyways, you guys, like I said, I hope it's fake. I hope this is some kind of parody, but in today's world, you really can't be too sure. But I, of course, want to know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. But as always, you guys, do not forget to hit the like or the dislike button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you always get notified every time I post a new video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.